This is Carcon Carne, a Q101 podcast. I'm James Van Osdell, Carcon Carne, presented by Alex Ross Art, alexrossart.com. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, here's a little bit more about what Alex Ross is all about. It's Carcon Carne. Let's eat in the car. It's Carcon Carne. So what is a smart home? A smart home connects virtually all the tech in your home. With an easy automation installed smart home system, you and your family can control nearly every device and system in the house in ways that are easy and fun to use. Transform your living space with cutting edge home automation and experience seamless control over audio, video, lighting, climate, security, and more. Embrace the future of smart living. This will change the way you live. This will change your home in every way, and it's easy to get started. Talk to my guy, Dan, at Easy Automation, 630-730-3728, 630-730-3728, or go to the website, easy-automation.net. So if you're watching this, you can see through the moonroof, actually, I guess it would be a sunroof because it's the sun coming in, and you can see it everywhere. It's, it's a beautiful day. I'm recording this in mid-May. Ravinia season is just a couple weeks away. It kicks off. Now's the time to start thinking about outdoor shows. There is no better place to sit, hang, dance outside to live music than Ravinia. Ravinia.org to check out their entire summer schedule, to buy tickets. And if you want to make life easy, jump on Metra. It's free if you take the Union Pacific North Line. Just show the conductor your same-day ticket, and you're good to and from Ravinia. That takes a lot of pressure off, right? It'll take you right to the park. Ravinia.org. My God, the Beach Boys are coming. Violent Femmes, Roger Daltrey, Los Lobos. So many great shows. No surprise, it's Ravinia, Ravinia.org. So it is Carcon Carne right outside the Irish American Heritage Center, 4626 North Knox, a, a space that celebrates Irish and Irish American culture through events, music, theater, literature, and language. It's also home to the Fifth Province Pub, the Mayfair Theater, and lots of awesome meeting and event spaces. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, to my right in the front seat, it is Kai Wolfsmith. He is on the board of directors for the Irish American Heritage Center. And in the back, he is Brian Esterline. He is the hospitality manager, all things food and bev inside the Irish American Heritage Center. What a fas- fascinating and wonderful building this is. I, I got the tour. I want to talk about everything about this space uh, truly a hidden gem more people need to know about like i'm thrilled we're doing this episode episode more people need to know about this but you brought food so we should start eating that i mean i don't want to <laughs> bury the lead here we've got food from fifth province in the, in these handsome bags yeah Kai, you. I mean, i'm gonna have you get it out yeah yeah all right so brian you're you're, you're food and bev what, what are we eating we have our meatloaf <laughs> with mashed potatoes and asparagus which is perfect for a hot car yeah, it's our Saturday special. There's the bangers. Pass this up to you. That's the meatloaf. And then there. we also have bangers and mash, which is more of an Irish traditional. For sure. All right, so, oh, here's the meatloaf with the asparagus. Oh, look at those potatoes. Yep. And then bangers and mash. That's that's a classic. Just good stick to your ribs comfort food right there. Good Irish sausage and potatoes. I'm excited. I, do we have. Uh, what else is in there? Are these both bangers here? Yep. Nice. All right. We guys got a lot of them. I'm, I'm going to start with the bangers. All right. Sure. Do yeah, it. Great. Let's do it. I'm a sausage guy. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, that's Come true. It's just, this is the city. This is the city. It, it, we get our sausages from Winston's on the south side. Nice. And, and you'll find very quickly here, it, it's a balancing act trying to eat in the car. It's part of the, part of the hilarity. I could hold up, too, if you need, yeah. I got it. All right. I cool. think. Yeah. Sweet. The hilarity. The hilarity. Right? You want a banger? Oh, I'd love one. Yeah, this is, it has a little onion gravy. That's what's in the Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. That's <laughs> you had me at sausage, and you really sealed the deal with onion gravy. Look at this. Yes, indeed, my friends. This is how you spend a Friday night. Oh, and these are freshly cooked. Like, my, my fingerprints have just been seared off. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to do it with onion gravy. That's solid. Mm-hmm. All right, are we cross-pollinating, or can I just double dip? Double dip, double dip, get in there. Because this onion, I I could drink the onion gravy. (laughs) 
Uh, so let's or let's start by talking about Fifth Province. Food, beers, tons and tons of Irish whiskey. Talk a little bit about the space. Well, the Fifth Province, you know, it's, is uh, it was closed for COVID, like everywhere. It, mm-hmm. We opened it back up and um, we expanded the menu. Um, and it mostly has a lot of traditional Irish things, but then some American mm-hmm. kind of gastro pub things too. Like, and um, the we expanded the beer menu. Uh, we have our own beer too. We have a Fifth Province Ale, which is really cool. And who do you do that with? We do that with Lake Effect Brewing, and then um, we recently expanded our whiskey list. We have over sixty Irish whiskeys. Which is really cool too. We have live music every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, we're free. recording on a Friday. There's live music happening. Yep, or about to happen as yep. we're recording this. That's right. And then we also have a concert tonight in the uh, Mayfair Theater. It's the Bowties are playing tonight, which is uh, brings It, it seems like there's always stuff going on. Yeah, like almost to the point where it's hard to keep track of everything with with the music and <laughs> there is quite events a bit going on. and. Yeah, 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 and don't forget the uh, traditional the traditional fests, uh, the sessions on Thursday nights too. Thursday so nights. What are those? Brian mentioned those. What what are those? Um, so that's uh, traditional um, like Irish session. So it'll be like fiddle players, um, you know, flute players, barong players, and they come in. Anyone can come in and join, uh, and just participate and get in a big circle around the fireplace in the fifth province and. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's a blast. Magic. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's yeah. like a jam yeah. session, but with uh, Irish traditional music. Yep. So it, this is centered around the Irish American community, but really this is all just community period. That's right. Especially people can, for the neighborhood here, yeah. Yeah, I and mean, people can just come in and, and feel warm and welcome. Mm-hmm. And that, the first thing I saw when I walked in was the bar. I'm like, oh, that's a place I want to hang out at. Yeah. Yeah, the bar. Um, it's a really cool space. It was built by just like the the neighborhood and working class of, of Mayfair up here, uh, and the, the Irish. Uh, founders of, of the Irish Center, uh, which kind of volunteered their time to build it. They, the bar top itself is um, the old chalkboards from the school that this used yeah, to so be. I, I failed to mention that. This is an old Chicago school building. If you drove by and had never seen the space, you, would just, you wouldn't be wrong to think, oh, it's just a school. But one, one closer look, and oh, this is a former school that's been transformed. So to your point, the bar is made of the old chalkboards from the building when it was a school. I, I think it's called upcycling. Yeah, upcycling. Like, we were doing it before, yeah, before it was uh, trendy, yeah, absolutely. So, all right, we'll take a step back. I'm going to keep eating these sausages because, oh my God, these are good. Um, and they're nice and crunchy, too. It, I mean, this is this is a problem, Can actually. Can pass another one back to me? Yeah, absolutely. You're good. You. Oh, I'm not sharing. I'm sorry, Brian. That's all right. <laughs> I, I made the decision right from the get go. There will be no sharing oh. of mine. Um, the building itself, it's like it's a century old. 100 years this year. Yep. 100 years this year. Mm-hmm. Yep. When did you take over this space? The Irish Center um, was taken over in 1985. Uh, it was an abandoned building for, I think they said, 14 or 15 years before that. It was broken windows and, um, you know, all kinds of brickwork done. And then um, a bunch of people from the neighborhood, the Irish and Irish immigrants who put their money together to get the place. And then they just put their volunteer and volunteered their time and their money to, to build it into what it is. Yeah, there's old scrapbook photos of like rooms just full of old furniture that were just like piled in there and left and just covered in dust. And it, it was incredible the work that the that those founders put in and all that volunteer uh, work to, to make the place what it is today. I, I was fascinated. I went on the tour and I kind of knew what to expect, but I didn't. And uh, just everything that's here, the library I want to talk about, uh, because what a resource and what a lovely room and space that is. I, I'm looking through the glass cases at these old hardbound Irish books that probably are from the turn of the century, the previous turn of the century. And it's just, what a thrill to be able to look at that past. Absolutely. It's a, it's a beautiful space. Um, and the people who take care of it are all volunteer based and they do it out of uh, it's their passion, right? It's their their passion to preserve and to collect and to to uh, bring these things in here. So we have them for generations to come. And as I was saying to Brian, I mean, a lot of the stuff that's in this library doesn't exist online. There's no way it could exist online. The fact that it's being preserved and it is available to the public, I think is it's a public service almost to be able to, to share those old books that you can't can't find anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's special. It, it really feels it. And what's fun for me is the, the disconnect my brain has walking through these halls, because there is that Chicago school 
five, but it's it's not a Chicago school. And these rooms that were classrooms are event spaces and bars and yeah, bars. bars. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget the bars. Yeah. Cannot forget the bars. They're always yeah, the, there. The gymnasium is uh, the Aaron room now. We, you saw that upstairs above the theater, which is, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the uh, a wedding event space. or uh, yeah, My wife space. and I actually got married up there. Yeah. What a cool space. Yeah, it's really great. And it yeah. holds like 300 people. 300 seated. Yeah. 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 Hey, so are you most busy with events or concerts? Like... Or is it just kind of equally distributed through the weeks and months? Really, is pretty equally distributed. We have um, concerts all the time, uh, three, four a month, um, and that's going to be more and more now that we have air conditioning in the, the- in the <laughs> So we'll have that's more. That's an in important the consideration. Yeah. Yeah, it really is, uh, and uh, we have you know we put so much money into the sound system into that a few years ago too. So it's uh, it's that's something we're trying to fill the space up and as much as we can. Uh, so let's talk about the Mayfair Theater because. This was the, the high school auditorium. Yeah. And you turned it into a music venue, which makes so much sense. So you've got great sidelines. Yeah. The room probably holds, what, 600 people? Over 650. Yeah. Over 650. Yeah, but we can... Comfortably. We, yeah, it's all seated. And uh, we, if we close the balcony and we have a curtains, we can partition it down to a smaller space. So we can, we can do some co- smaller acts in there as well. What a lovely, intimate room. And, of course, there's a bar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... As, as we kind of look ahead calendar-wise for live music, who's coming up? Is, is it all Irish? Uh, we have some shows we haven't announced yet, but okay. we have some cool stuff coming up for sure. Uh, and then we have um, uh, a lot of Irish things as well. And then we do a Halfway to St. Patrick's Festival. Uh, we do a St. Patrick's Day Festival. Uh, it's, um, we do our Christmas Bazaar that's coming up. Oh, it's it's wise away yet still, but uh, yeah, quite a few events. And uh, we'll have some bigger acts that are coming up as well, too. I think this is just, I said it, it, it's a hidden gem. You can park here because it's an old school. You've got massive parking lots on either side of the building, north and south. There really is something for everyone, and you don't have to be Irish. I'm not, and I love this space and want to keep coming back. I'll come back for the 60 Irish whiskeys and the bangers and mash, if nothing else. (laughs) I mean, I'm good. That's great. But live music, too. I mean, that space looks like a wonderful place to hear a live band. It's awesome. The the halls uh, echo music perfectly. It's a it's a beautiful venue for music. And and uh, as Brian was mentioning, like some of the shows, we do like different theme festivals. Um, you'll see. Keep your eyes out. You'll see like a Cash for Kids charity event where it's all Johnny Cash themed. Um, we just did a John Prine one. Uh, another one was the Almond Brothers. Uh, so there's we're always looking for different different things, different uh, bands to celebrate. Um, if you're into Irish music, you will never have a shortage of it here as well. So um, it is, yeah, it's it's wonderful. And Kai, when do you get involved as a board member? Um, uh, so I'm one year on as a board right now, but I've been involved in the building for um, several years, volunteering different um, events, and then also, um, like uh, like I said, I, I was married here. Um, I'm I'm in the neighborhood, so this really is kind of a community thing that that mm-hmm. drew me in, and uh, it's a special place, and I want to help ensure that it's here for again, like generations to come, because it truly is a, a hidden gem in Chicago. And just for perspective, for people who don't know the area so well, it's right off the Kennedy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is literally you get off at Wilson, and you're here. Yep. Yep. I mean, it is so easy to get to, and from the north side, I mean, it's a piece of cake. But I mean, even if you're coming from the south side or the burbs, it's Right at the exit. Yeah, we got the little brown plaque on the on the Kennedy there, uh, uh-huh. or that's, you know the Edens, <laughs> the I think, Edens, on the yeah. side. Yeah, that says uh, Irish American Heritage Center. So I'll, a lot of people I'll talk to that don't know this place, be like, oh, that's the spot. Oh, interesting. And then they'll come in, and then they'll fall in love with it and become regulars. We're right? just two blocks away from the the Blue Line too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, the Montrose stop. Yeah. So what makes this spa- place special? Oh, the, the the people, the community. You know, that's that's what really makes it. The the, the founders that uh, did put all the work into it. Uh, it's, it's, and they still come. There's, there, a lot of them will be here tonight for the dances. And we have, well, the space is uh, rented out or used by the Trinity Irish dancers, the um, Shannon Rovers, the Shannon uh, Rovers. Piping. They come here and practice their, their bagpipes. It's, oh, I bet that's a blast. It's, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah, it's uh, when we do have our festivals and they're all here at the same time, and all of their families are all here at the same time. It's it's it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It seems like the country of Ireland has contributed in some way shape or form to what we're looking at here Mm -hmm. what's the relationship with ireland um uh, brian you might be able to speak better on this but uh they we we are a non-profit and um 
So they've helped us with uh, different projects that we've had around the building, that some improvements that we might have needed. There's, uh, they've, they've come to visit us quite a few times. So it's, um, it's pretty special when you have some of their, uh, not the prime minister, but some of their higher ups that are that come. Yeah, I bet that's a big deal. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. They stop by the consulate first, and then they come here. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. the bar is only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's correct. Yeah. There's, okay, and that's evenings only, six p.m. Yep. Okay, great place to hang out uh, in the in the cold weather months. There's a fireplace. Yeah, the fireplace mm-hmm. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then we have our bands play in front of the fireplace. <laughs> Who doesn't want to gather in front of a, a fire and have a have a Guinness or a Telemore or Dew or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it <that> sounds good. <laughs> We're going to stop recording. Let's do exactly that. <laughs> um, oh, we also have meatloaf to eat. How are we going to do this? Um, all right, so over 60 traditional Irish whiskeys, Ballyhoo, Bushmills, Egan's, Jameson, Jameson Caskmates, uh, Proper 12, Telemore Dew. I mean, uh, Brian, were you in, involved in the sourcing of all 60 Irish whiskeys? Yeah, it was quite an adventure to figure out what uh, what whiskeys to choose from, and uh, just trying to find as many as that we could from all the different distributors that there are out there. Uh, and so we've been doing it over the past four months. We've been building it up and building it up. Uh, we have over sixty now, which is I don't think there's another place in Chicago that has as many Irish whiskeys as we do. Well, just like you have the library full of Irish resources, the bar should be a resource for Irish libation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it just it just makes sense. All right, so Mayfair Theater, um, people can find out who's who's performing on the website. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the museum is available for curated appointment viewing. That's correct, free. Super cool stuff. Now, I, I got the, the private semi-curated tour before we started recording. There is, it looks like a throne, but it's a chair that was created for William Howard Taft. President Taft, when he went to Chicago for a visit, and it was this handcrafted chair, and that's on display. You can't sit in it, <laughs> but it just, I mean, it has his, like, monogrammed initials on it. Like, what, it, of all the things I expected to see, that wasn't one of them, and that was just a fu- one of the fun things in the library. And then there's that book. What, what was that book we saw? The Kelly book? Yes. Yeah. It, it looked like something magical. To me, I, with, it kind of is. It kind of is. Like without the context, it just this visually striking tome in a glass case. This wildly colorful tome, and that comes in its own case, and just so much fun stuff to see, and so much. I mean, there, there's a devotion to history here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and Chicago as let's talk about Chicago as an Irish city, an Irish community. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there, we are we are the hub on the north side for sure um, for Irish community. Uh, there's, there's a, like tonight, there's a group of people who play uh, 25. It's an old, old time group and they, they get together and play an old Irish card game. Um, you know, there's the, obviously the library and the museum, uh, with all the care that's being taken in there. Um, and then the, yeah, the bands, the music, it's, it's, it's a great. There's dancers practicing tonight. I I saw them walk in. Yeah, there's, uh, there's Irish music, um, the school of Irish music that's practicing tonight. There's the concert tonight. There's the uh, the town hall tonight. There is the regular uh, music in the Fifth Province tonight. There's a lot happening all at one time. The website for the Irish American Heritage Heritage Center is irish-american.org. Sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And again, forty six twenty six North Knox. Uh, what a great hang! What a great resource! What a great place for people to just embrace one another i love it yeah and if you're uh, craving a bag of uh, tatoes you can come and get them at the gift shop um at our gift shop any day what are tatoes uh they're like potato chips but they're you know from ireland they're they're delicious uh, by the way the, the con- in contrast to the car we're in right now the air conditioning in the gift shop spot on it's <laughs> one of my lasting <laughs> memories is they really had the air conditioning dialed in in there they're working hard in there. They're working hard in there. They got it. Well, you keep... want people to be comfortable as, right. they're, as they're walking the aisles. You know, you want them to stay a little yeah, while. And, that's right. I mean, pick up a bag of potatoes or a Irish wool sweater or whatever. <laughs> exactly. You need a sweater when it's that cold. That's in the right. Gift shop. Yeah. Or where else are you going to get your Guinness hockey jersey, right? I mean, that's that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. All right. As mentioned, you have so much going on. Uh, I'm going to let you guys get back to it. Thank you so much for, for sharing details and sharing food. Um, bangers and mash. That's that's the way to go. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you very yeah, thank much. You. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by.